Hi, this is Valerie Burke from Tiny Mad Idea. This is my first video, so I'm a little bit nervous, but we will muddle through it together. Um, today I would like to talk to you about EMFs and about a nice shiny black rock that hardly anybody knows about called Shungite. Before we get into Shungite, EMF stands for electromagnetic frequencies, and what I mean by that is man-made variety. So the low-level emissions that come from your cell phone, your computer, your electrical appliances, Wi-Fi, you know, all of that. And it's kind of controversial. You know, the industry will tell you these don't have any effect on our health. Studies say otherwise. So this is becoming a growing concern because 5G is coming. Well, it's here. And devices will be switching over to 5G probably later in 2018. And at that point, you can't even unplug and remove yourself from the radiation because it'll just be everywhere. It'll be uh, unavoidable. We love our electronic devices. Nobody's going to take my iPhone away from me. But we have to find ways we can live with them more safely. We're paying a price for their use. There's a lot of studies out there that show very, various uh, health effects from low-level radiation like this, but the largest study ever done was um, at least preliminary results were published in 2016 by the National Toxicology Program and it's the largest uh, rat study ever done having to do with cell phone radiation and what they found was that the rats were showing substantial tumor growth, cancerous tumor growth, brain and heart and they're the same kind of tumors that people who are heavy cell phone users tend to uh, display. So this was very uh, concerning to me and um, it sparked my interest in shungite, once I learned about shungite, you know that these EMFs are not meshing very well with our natural electromagnetic fields. We're electrical beings, so we have our own electromagnetic fields, and they don't always um, mesh with these man-made ones. So what can we do about it? Well, chances are we aren't going to stay permanently unplugged, so we have to protect ourselves. And one of the... Um, there's not a lot of science out there about items that are uh, touted as being able to protect you. But there's a little more research having to do with shungite than there is for most things. So this is shungite, it's a shiny, well this is polished, but it's a shiny black rock that comes from only one place in the world, Karelia, Russia. It's uh, the oldest rock, <clears throat> over two billion years old. It's found... Um, along a, an outcrop that ran through a river. So the way Shungite's uh, health benefits were, came to um, everybody's notice was that the people in Karelia that lived in the town Shunga, hence the name Shungite, were healing from all sorts of maladies and injuries much faster than the general population. And this was hundreds of years ago. So the Russians have known about Shungite for a long time. But it's very rich in carbon. Oh, to finish the story, uh, the people that lived in the town of Shunga we're drinking the water that came from a creek that passed through the uh, shungite outcrop. So that was the connection with uh, shungite, which wasn't called shungite back then, but it is now. So why, why are these rocks so special? Well, they have a very high carbon content, but it's a form of carbon that you don't see anywhere else. You don't see it in graphite or diamond or, or any of the other carbonaceous minerals. It has something in it called uh, fullerenes or buckyballs. They were named after the late Buckminster Fuller, after his geodesic dome architecture. And the reason they're named that is because they are large carbon spherical molecular structures with as many as 60 up to 72 uh, carbon molecules all in one very unique sphere. And it wasn't even known that these fullerenes existed in nature. They, they were invented in the lab and they're like the tinker toys of nanotechnology. But in 1992, scientists discovered that they existed in Shanghai. And uh, in fact, those scientists got the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for that discovery. So that's pretty cool. There's only two other known natural sources of fullerenes. One is in rocks that have been struck by lightning and also meteor impact uh, craters. The people who were drinking the Shanghai water and studies since then in Russia have found all kinds of health benefits for um, Shungite. And it ranges from arthritis to uh, allergies, injuries, skin irritations, uh, all kinds of different things. 
So that's been studied for a number of years. In fact, in Russia, there's a shungite room, an entire room made of shungite that they do experiments in. There's a book called Shungite, appropriately named, by Regina Martino, and she's a bioenergetics researcher. And I got, I read the whole book and I also perused the internet for articles and studies about Shungite. A lot of my information I got out of her book because she is the one person who studied it most extensively, at least in the United States. So she has summarized all the studies and um, she's done her own experiments with radiation. Uh, and it's very interesting. Our, our bodies are, you might have heard of chakras. Well, our bodies have these energy fields. And in Western society, we don't pay much attention to those. But in the East, they're a key part of healing and illness and how these energy fields are working. So what Martino did is she was able to come up with a way to actually measure these fields. She calls them vital fields. So what she, how she explains it is that our fields shrink and expand based on various factors. Um, the larger our, and more expansive our energy field is, the healthier we stay. So if our field gets constricted uh, over time, we can develop chronic illnesses. Um, and all kinds of internal and external factors affect this. Um, food, our water, uh, toxins that we're exposed to, even our thoughts and emotions can expand or contract our energy fields. So if they stay contracted enough, we can get sick. So anyway, what she discovered is that people who have Shungite on their person or near them have an energy field that expands and you know they can pick it up put it down she can actually measure the changes and it changes in different areas of the body which if you want to know more about it it gets very detailed and you can read her book but anyway the basic uh, thing that she'd observed was our energy fields contract when we're exposed to um, electromagnetic uh, fields man-made ones but then if you if you have a piece of shungite near you it, it allows those fields to expand and according to what they say, it, Shungite is not a, uh, it's not a filter. It doesn't trap the fields in it. It actually transforms them into a frequency that is more biologically compatible, so it won't wreak havoc with our DNA. Studies show that EMFs can break our DNA apart, can mess with our mitochondria, which is our little energy powerhouses. And so the more we can mitigate these fields, the better you know, our overall health is going to be. Okay, so here's the part where I tell you how I got involved with Shungite. I was doing jewelry. Uh, I was doing mostly precious metal clay, silver work, and um, I sought to come up with more of a, a biologically, a functional jewelry, I guess we can call it, a healing jewelry. And I've always been fascinated with natural gemstones. In fact, my first degree way back 100 years ago was in geology. And so I've brought together my health background with my geological focus and it seemed a natural transition. And once I learned about what Shungite could do, I began to make jewelry with it. And that's how this all started. That's how Tiny Mad Idea got involved with Shungite. So now I do pendants and necklaces and I do earrings and bracelets and, and uh, I will show you a lot of those things in an upcoming video. But anyway, just, just to, to know how this factors in, what is recommended is to have Shanghai on your person as well as placed around your home or office uh, between you and sources of EMFs. So for example, a Wi-Fi router. It's great to have a piece of Shanghai. They, they are carved into all kinds of beautiful sculptures. Place it right on the shelf next to the router or between you and the router. Uh, and between something like that and wearing a piece on your person, you're gonna be mitigating a lot of the effects of those EMFs and even 5G. I, I would expect that there's no reason why it wouldn't work for 5G like it does for everything else. So that's the scoop on Shanghai. Um, thank you for listening. If you want more information, I have a comprehensive report called The Electropollution Solution on my website, which is ValerieBurke.net, and I will uh, link that in below. I also have two more videos that I'm going to be making. One is a tour of my studio, which is this room, but I'll, I want to show you some of the forms of Shungite and how beautiful it can be. And, you know, I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Also, you have to be careful about the uh, Shungite that you buy because there are some people out there who are selling fake Shungite. 
it's catching on. So there's, you know, some unethical people. Um, so I'll tell you how you can be sure your Shanghai is the real deal. So that's in an upcoming video. So thank you again and may the Shanghai be with you.